So how we can export a walkthrough animation in Revit? First of all, you need to make sure that you already have a walkthrough animation. If you don't know how, you can check this video in here. I'm going to put it in the card section. After that, you need to open a walkthrough view. So for that, if you already have a walkthrough view, you can go to project browser and in this part, you will have a new section. If you open it, you can see this walkthrough and you just need to go to that view. Now, while we are in here, we need to go to file and to the export section. And in this part, you need to click on this image and animation and then select this walkthrough. In this window, we have two different sections output length and the format so in this part in the output length you can select the number of frames that you want to export you can go either with all frames so it exports all of the frames you have in here we have like 300 frames and it will export all of them as a avi or as like uh, separate images and then in this part in the second option we have this frame range if you select this one you can export a specific number of frames for example let's say you want to export frames from uh, second camera to the third camera which might be frames uh, from 30 to like maybe 65 or any number i'm going to show you how you can find those numbers so in that case you can start you can um type in here number 30 and then for the end frame you can go with number 60 or 65 or any frame that you want to export if you click on ok in this case your video your images will be only from this frame to this one i'm going to go with all frame for this video for now so after that we have this frame per second which will give you a total time of your video so if you want to have a smoother video you probably want to go with 30 40 60 any number that you want but you need to know that if you change this frame per second this total time is going to be changed so you need to adjust it again for that you can Go with either in the property section. If you scroll down, you can see this walkthrough frames. Open this one, and then in this part, you can change the total frames and frames per second. And if you open this part, you can also control the uh, speed of the frames. In here, we have like four different cameras. I have created these before. So in this part, you can control the speed. You can see the frames. For example, from the first camera to the second camera, we have like first frame, uh, frame number one to frame number 170. If you want to export the frames between the second camera to the third camera, you can just import these frame numbers to the uh, frame range and then your video is going to be exactly from this frame to this one so this is where you can control all of these parts you can also access to this option if you select your crop region and go to edit walkthrough in this part while you are like creating different cameras you can just simply click on this part and then you can control all of the things that i explained from this part too the second part is about the formatting and in here we have this visual style first right now we are in consistent color which is this view that you can see and you can go also with shaded hidden lines realistic or rendering but you need to know that if you go with realistic rendering or texture uh, it will take a lot of time but the quality is not going to be like any better so keep this in mind while you are selecting the style of your video and then we have these dimensions which you cannot use in here because uh, they are locked and if you want to change it you need to like do it manually with these handles in this part or if you want to use specific numbers you can select your crop region and with this size crop you can assign any uh, width and height to your view and then you can export them exactly like that after that we have this zoom tool which also you can't use it in this part since we are in a perspective view and we have no access to like changing the scale of this view we can't use this zoom tool either this is kind of disappointing because we have no option to control the quality of the video 
In this case, I think only screen recording might give you a better quality than these options, than exporting an animation or a walkthrough. Anyway, the last option we have in here is this include time and data stamp, which give you a counting frame and the date on your video after you export it. Now I'm going to click on OK and then in this part you can assign an address and a name for your file. You also have the access to all of those options in this part too. And then for the format for the type of your video, you can open this part and you can select between these options. So only these AVI files will give you a video and the rest of these options will give you just image. So since we had like 300 frames in this part, if you go with PNG or GPG or any of these options, it will give you like 300 frames, 300 images separately in your file in this address that you assign to this file with exactly this name but if you want to export a video you can go with this option and then you can save it in this last step you have a few options for the compression of your video so you can go either with full frame or this microsoft video because these are two options that i was able to open the videos with these formats i'm not sure if i did anything wrong or these are not working on the softwares that we use these days but um, the safest option is uh, this one i think and i'm going to go with this one and then you can click on ok and then you just need to wait for the process to be complete this is the exported video and as you can see it's not bad it's not also satisfying but if you like have to export a walkthrough, you can use it or you can just simply record your screen as I explained. Mm, you might get some other type of problems, but it just depends on where you want to present this video. There's also another option to like export each frame separately. But if you want to do it, you should not go with this export walkthrough, not with this one. I know that it can export all of those 300 frames at once, but it won't give you a better quality. So if you want to like do it, you need to go with image because in this part, you can control the zoom too and you can control this raster image quality and the quality will be much better. You need to repeat it for all of the frames one by one, which is not efficient at all. But if the presentation is important for you, this is a way that you can use. So if you want to go to each frame one by one, you can select this crop region and go to edit walkthrough. And in this part, you can go to the next frame like this. And then each time you can go to file and export the image with the quality you want and then use a editing software to like uh, put them all next to each other and create the high quality video as you need i wish we could have a plugin or a solution to export all of these frames with the quality we want i feel like we can use dynamo but i'm not sure so let me know if you know any plugin or if you know dynamo and if it is possible for us to like write a code and export these frames if you know any solution please let me know in the comment section and the last option that i can think about is to use a rendering engine we have inkscape we have v-ray lumion and some other rendering engine that you can get a very high quality export i like this walkthrough animation because of this consistent color style but if there is no other choice you have to use a rendering engine and if you want to like test it go with inkscape because it's super fast and easy and there is a mood in inkscape there's a style in inkscape which you can use Mm, and it is exactly like hidden lines mm, i think it could be a very good solution and if you want to learn how you can export an animation with inkscape you might like to watch this video in here